Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. In today's episode, we're gonna kick off a series taking you throughout some of Melbourne's best aquarium stores. Alright, thank you for joining me on another episode of Parker's Reefs and I must admit this weekend I was planning on being in Sydney for Reef Stock Australia. Unfortunately for us, COVID-19 has had other plans for that and uh, Reef Stock Australia has been postponed. Now, for once in the last, uh, I guess, 18 months to two years, Victoria or Melbourne is not locked down while the rest of the country is. So I figured the best thing I could do to help all of you guys that were planning to go to Reef Stock Australia was to get out and get around Melbourne's best aquarium stores, get some footage so I can share it with you guys at home, figuring if you can't go to the reefing show, I'll try to bring the reefing show to you. So we've got some aquarium stores, I've got some new products to review, I've got some coral suppliers, and I've even got some giveaways, including this Aquatic Life 50 gallon per day RO Buddy. This bad boy is valued at $150 Australian. I'll give you the information later in the video how you can go about entering to win this prize. I'm doing my best for you guys. I feel real bad for all of you in Queensland and Sydney that are currently locked down. But rest assured, I've got some ripper videos to come for you guys that you can enjoy in the comfort of your own home. So uh, let's roll on into the first video, which is from Bunurong Aquarium. All right, here we are, Bunurong Aquarium, established in 1988. Now have a look at this beautiful uh, sign writing on the store. You can see all the brands they carry. Well, a sample of the brands they carry, but it definitely gives a street presence to let you know you are at an aquarium. Now, We'll roll in for those of you who are concerned I have already checked in prior to doing this video so uh, don't fear that's been done. You see a beautiful big uh, freshwater display here. I'm not going to pretend to know that uh, species of these fish so I won't embarrass myself but they are a pretty cool little unit. Well big units I guess and uh, you see a few more display tanks here. These ones at the front of the store are all uh, freshwater systems and you can see the freshwater fish there. I'll just quickly glance past them a quick little look at these uh, discus here though because um, that's one freshwater fish I do know and they are absolutely beautiful in that system and you can see there is a huge range of uh, freshwater fish and plants as well as a good assortment of frozen foods for uh, all sorts. Now we've got the Aquatic Life RO Buddy there if you're interested in one of these you can pick them up from Bunurong Aquarium aquarium as well as the uh, larger aquatic life unit if you need more than 50 gallons per day. You can see over here with uh, Bunurong they have an absolutely extensive range of dry goods whether it be uh, for reptiles, freshwater or marine. We've got a huge assortment of dry goods from uh, every food I have known is all in one place there so you can guarantee you're going to get a huge assortment there and make sure you're getting exactly what uh, your fish or livestock require but it doesn't end with foods. You've got a huge assortment of uh, wave pumps, of uh, power filters, uh, they love the little Seachem titled hang on power filters, they've got some Halia pumps there. You name it, the guys here have got it, including some uh, Rosmont movers, um, some Eheim canisters, Oasi canisters, ocean free canisters. Um, we come across the wall of heaters there. We've got some uh, medias here for treatment, um, including uh, Seachem, API, Aquaforest. Good assortment of different uh, uh, filter material there, like uh, poly filter, poly wool, that sort of thing. See the range of heaters there. We've got some big canisters, skimmers, reactors up on the top. Some more uh, skimmers from Quantum, some uh, Ecotech mounts. Basically by now you're getting the point. We've got a huge range of dry goods. And moving on now into the test kits, we've got Salafit, we've got Aquaforest, we've got Red Sea, we've got API. Uh, there's some aquarium systems products there. We've got some heat lamps. We've also got uh, the Aquaforest range of additives as well as uh, reef antibiotics, Red Sea, Aquaforest again. You've got calcium reactor media there. You can see the guys carry it all here. And it's good to see the reef antibiotics range on the shelf here. I don't know too many other stores in Melbourne that are carry the full range like they do here. So that's cool. We've even got bio pallets on the shelf there. Uh, Chemi Pure, uh, Marine Snow. All sorts there. There's, um, I could look at the uh, footage of these shelves all day long and still find products that I didn't see the first time around. But uh, it doesn't end there. They've got some of the more high-end products behind the counter. You can see uh, Philips Coral Care Lights, Kessel AP9X. You've got Kamoa dosing pumps, the FXSTP. You've got uh, their X1s. You've got some Tunzi Wave Makers. They have all sorts behind the counter, including one of the purchases I did make here. These little 3M Magic Erasers with a scour pad attached to one side. Super simple little idea, but uh, makes cleaning up your aquarium a dream. 
And speaking of dream aquariums, check out this little one here, this little uh, desktop all-in-one system with a little Fu Manchu in there. It's just got one of the submersible Tunzi lights in there. And uh, Brett tells me that he hand feeds this guy every day. He had already been fed when we got there, so um, he wasn't gonna play well for the camera and uh, take the food like he should, of course, but uh, you can see how friendly the little guy is. And uh, sitting up on that counter there, I'm sure he gets plenty of attention from Brett all day long. In fact, here he goes, he's gonna have a look at some food. Uh, oh, no, didn't take that one. Of course not, he wouldn't uh, do it while on camera, but uh, you can rest assured that he does. He's in a pretty cool little soft coral system there, like I said, just lit up with the Tunzi submersible light, which keeps a real low prof profile system on this uh, Waterbox Cube 20. Oh, I think he took a bit of food then, there you go. Just to make sure that he's not making a liar out of Brett. <laughs> he's got no shortage of uh, food in the system now, which uh, will no doubt give a little bit of a nitrate spike, so you'll have to clean that up. But uh, what a cool little creature he is. And um, oh, let's see if he grabs a bit there. It looks like it might be stuck in his little uh, Fu Manchu prongs, but um, I'm sure he'll sort that out. Now, let's keep going because there's so much more to show you here, including this brand new water box tank. Obviously, it's going to be a display system, not completely set up yet. This is the new Alex range from uh, Waterbox. You can see it's got this power control center on the right-hand side, which is obviously not finished yet. This one also has uh, the push to open doors. It's got the extruded aluminum uh, stand. And you get a bit of a sneak peek of what the sump looks like there, including the RO top-off section. This one is running two huge seven inch filter socks. Um, pretty neat little layout. I'm keen to see a bit more of these systems when they get out and about, and uh, maybe we can come back to Bunurong and check it out once this guy's been running for a bit longer than a day or two like this one has, and we'll see what it looks like once it's all cleared up and all the equipment is set up. But um, they're a really neat looking little system, which, uh, well, I say little, they're a huge tank, but uh, they look great. Let's move on and check out some of the livestock because I know that's what a lot of my viewers are keen to see, including myself. And uh, Bunurong has this incredible assortment of uh, corals of all different types. You can see some of the nicest Rhodactus and Morphs in there. Check out those, uh, I think they're cookies and cream. They're sort of maroon red with the uh, the teal sort of stripes through them. Some Gonoporas there, some Chalice, some Hammer Frags, um, some Bower Bankies. I quite like that gold torch with a toxic green mouth. You got a uh, maroon stem torch with green tips, some beautiful trachophilia there. In fact, quite a few nice trachophilia, some nice Montes there. You can see some Bird of Paradise, looks like some frags up there. Um, a nice little, uh, looks like a TNT Acropora up there. We got some Acans. Oh man, I can see some Scollies down the bottom there. There's some nice uh, candy cane heads there. Nice little aquacultured clams there for only $120, quite cheap. Looks like the candy cane is $3 a head, also quite cheap. Some big, looks like these aquapora cultures there, uh, the colonies there may have come from a customer's tank, which uh, means they're gonna be nice and hardy. We've got a wicked assortment of gonies there and some wild collected acro, which always gets my attention. It's a bit of a lucky dip with wild acro. You never know what it's gonna do in the home aquarium, but uh, a great assortment of pieces there. I really like looking through all these and I do love the way this system turns like glass when uh, Brett can turn off the pump. So you can just, you don't even need to use the look down. Uh, you can just literally look over the top of it and that glass is the glass the water is like glass but uh, just behind that coral system there is a display system here which i have to show you because um check out this guy he is going to grow to be an absolute monster but uh, he looks so cool right now i can't remember off the top of my head the species of fish he is but um speaking of monsters have a look at the size of that bubble coral in the middle there that's um that's an absolute beast it looks like it's being hosted by some clowns and um Wow, what a beautiful piece of coral it is. There's some gorgeous torches on the side here. Uh, I can see a nice helio down the bottom there. Some more of those uh, really nice uh, red rhodactus with yellow spots. And then over this side, there's just some absolutely gorgeous orange morphs with a couple of them have got a little bit of a green splash in there, kind of almost tilting into uh, jawbreaker territory. All right, now we'll just have a bit of a quick peruse through some of the fish that are on hand at the moment. Brett was expecting a delivery of fish later that day, so uh, expect there to be a lot more than he showed in this video, but uh, we can take a quick look at what is available here now. We've got some uh, white tail chromis there. Got a, uh, I'm not sure what the little yellow guy is. He looks pretty cool though. Uh, we've also got over here some uh, yellow line cardinals. Look like some more uh, white tail chromis there. This system is empty, waiting on some new fish. Come up here into the next system here. I can see blue tang, bird nose wrasse, 
You see some baby blue tangs here, some uh, copper band butterflies uh, laying low in the corner there at a decent price too, at only 65 bucks for a big fish. That seems to be very well priced. Come over here, we've got a nice uh, rabbit fish there and a wrasse. All right, let's check out another display tank here. This one has been running for a while and you can see it's been taken over by zoas, but uh, the Otsukura Sunrise definitely is a pretty zoa. You can see some nice deshies in there, some uh, leather corals, see some gorgeous recordias and rhodactus down the base. Some of those uh, iconic green rhodactus climbing up on the weir. I see some nice Duncans in there. What a nice little display system this is. And it is next to the next coral bank where we can have a look at some more corals for sale. Again, this one with the flow off gives you an absolute crystal clear view from the top and you can see some absolutely stunning scollies there, some real nice war paint ones and a double head green, some really nice trachophilia there. We've got some Elveoporas and Goniaporas, got some nice fungi, there's a nice reverse hammer there, some Recordia rocks, some soft corals there, some leathers, um, a nice bubble coral. That beautiful red rhodactus there with the yellow dots. What a stunning piece that is. He is 250 bucks, but uh, what a stunning coral it is. There's uh, some really nice hammers there. See some branching ones as well as uh, some gold stems there. We'll check out some of the pieces in this system here. You've got some gigantic multipora colonies there. Some big frog spawns. I can see, um, yeah, have a look at that multipora. That's an absolute monster. It's gonna need a big tank, that guy. Uh, there's some cataphilias here. Check out that bright orange recordia in the middle there. We've got some uh, star polyps. Looks like a bubble tip as well. Pop over the other side of the display tank and see what we can find. Actually, there's a nice recordia in that one as well. I didn't see him before. Wow, that absolutely glows in there. Now over this side, we've got some Cynarias. We've got some Deshies. I can see uh, some Duncans there, some big Duncans. Um, I think you can buy those by the head as well. Uh, let's have a look at some nice Heliofungus, some Clove Polyps. Really nice assortment there. And if we come around the corner here, we can check out something else that is new. This is the Aquaforest Sumpier. Now, these things are uh, PVC, I believe, or PVC and acrylic. Super, super strong. They just look really commercial and um, very strong and professional. Um, I love the markings on the sides, you know, the water heights and things like that. And speaking of new products, I did stumble across some uh, reef brights here. Now, these have been overseas quite a lot, but uh, they have just made their way to the Australian market. And uh, you can actually see a reef bright kit here set up over an AI light there. And uh, what a neat looking little system they make there with those wings that just bring it out. So you get that really nice coverage. Pretty cool to see that uh, not only do Bunarong have these in stock, but they also have them set up on a tank so you can see how they work. And um, that to me is the sign of a good local fish shop. They're not just uh, showing you things in the box that you can look at online. You can actually see them, touch them, and have a look at what they will look like on your system. Now, I did find some more dry goods here, including the huge 9012 skimmer from uh, Tunzi, their 9415, their algae reactor, some clarices, a little peninsula water box, the... Uh, Aquaforest reactor, and also I love the uh, display in the background there, just keeping you busy while you potentially have to wait if you're uh, wanting to get a coral bagged up, but uh, you can just check out that display and uh, that will keep you busy for a few minutes while you look at some handy information from uh, various sources. Now, just before we do wrap this video up, I wanna have a closer look at some of the corals here. Check out some of those uh, chalice there. Absolutely stunning colors through them and uh, the gonies are gorgeous. The acan frags are stunning. I love that little, um, that red and purple, I'm not sure if it's a scully, a bower banky, an acan head, whatever it is, it's absolutely stunning. Just some really nice colored pieces in here, an absolute tip of the cap to Bunarong. They've got some really nice quality corals and uh, regardless of whether you're chasing soft corals, LPS, SPS, you're gonna find something you absolutely love here. And I have to admit, uh, my friend Dave and I did pick up a couple of pieces from here because uh, there was too many pieces not to bring home. All right, guys, that's the first one in the series, Bunarong Aquarium, an absolute icon in Melbourne reefing. Now, to enter the prize for the RO unit from Aquatic Life, what I would like you to do is have a look in the video, see if you can find out what year Bunarong Aquarium was established, and then I want you to find out what year your local fish shop was established. I need the answers for both in the comments down below. I'll pick a winner at random. I will state that you need to be an Australian resident because I've got to pay postage and um, it's going to cost me a bomb to send that across to uh, South Africa or something like that. So unfortunately, it is only open to Australian residents or I guess someone with an Australian address. If uh, you do live overseas and you've got a friend or family member I can post it to, I'm down with that. It does not bother me whatsoever. 
Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I know it's not the same as being at Reefstock, but rest assured, I've got even more good videos to come. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna make sure you don't miss all of the coming videos that are about to be released, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification in the corner. Till next time, guys, please do stay safe and keep reefing. Cheers, bye.